Tara here from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. I want to show you today how you can automate the creation of tasks on your Monday.com board. Now, if you go up to the top right, you have a button called Automate. Uh, you also have an Integrate button, just so you know, recently they combined it into Workflow, so it depends how old your account is. So you would either go to Automate or Workflows. If you hit on Automate, so I'm going to create a custom autom automation that every single month a new task is going to be created. So what I'm going to say is when this happens, what I'm going to say every time period, I'm going to say every time period, and I'm going to choose that to monthly, the first of every month at 8 a.m., I want to create an item. And I'm just going to write my item is, let's say monthly report. I just need to map the, let's say I can choose a client, which specific client. So I'll have for client number one, the status is always going to be not started. And I set this information up and I create an automation. So every month, this task is going to be created on my board. As you saw before in the time every month, you can set it up to be every week, um, you know, every two weeks, every day, however you want to set it up. Another way to set this up is you can do based on change of status. So what you would do is when status changes to something, let's just say I want to say whenever status changes to task on hold, so therefore I'm going to create, create an item. So then I can create another item, some kind of reminder or whatever I'd want to do. That's a second way how to create automated tasks. A third way is that you also can create automated sub items. Sometimes this is relevant. So I, what I can do is I can do, let's say when an item is created, then I want to create sub items. So I'm just going to hit create sub item. So let's say if every single item always has the same sub items that are needed. So then I would just add the item, let's just say, every item needs a report. So I could just write report, you know, and I can set the status as not started and I can add whatever other information. And this way, every single time an item is created, a sub item would be created. Now, one thing that I want to point out is that if you have a large number of tasks that you're creating every single month, if you set it up this way, the list is going to get kind of long and hard to manage. You'll, I think you can only have 27 per I, per automation, but trust me, it's it's not easy to read and it's hard to manage. So what I would actually recommend would be making a duplicate of your board and setting up a group with all of the items that you duplicate every month. And actually, I know it's a manual process, but I would just duplicate that group and push it to and copy it to your new board. I know this may seem counterintuitive because you're manually doing something, but if you're constantly updating these, these tasks that need to be added, let's say on a monthly basis, it's much easier to manage them. I hope that one day there will be a better solution for this. Just like you have a template board, maybe there could be a template group. But for right now, if you have a large number of items, I would recommend actually having a duplicating board and just going in, set it to yourself a task once a month and go in to do that. If not, you can set up the automations how I showed you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it below and subscribe below so you can get more tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. And if you're looking for a custom implementation of monday.com, my contact details are in the description below.